you have double shocked up lineup, so two bar and then one bar jump. I'll get that spooky ghost boy. How's it going everyone? Ghost here, back with another Valorant guide. This time I'm doing Sova, so let's get right into it. Sova is a agent that is already unlocked, so he's one of the first five starting agents. And his abilities are pretty unique and hard to get your head around, so I'm here to help you understand how to work his abilities and what they do. So, let's start off with his first ability, which is his... L drone, which costs 400 credits and you get one charge per round. So his L drone is um, basically a flying camera. Deploying drone. So this is what it looks like when you deploy it. You can move around, you can fly it. On the um, bottom down here you can see the end, um, battery bar, so how much battery it has. So down here the white bar reduces um, so you can't always have it, it will run out eventually. If you want to cancel it just press your activation key which was my C. So C is my activate and if I want to cancel it quicker before um, the battery runs out I just press C and it goes away. So the cool thing about Sova's L drone is that you can push onto site without actually having to take damage yourself. So it's good for peeking entrances like this you're not too sure of. And you can also tag enemies, so all you have to do is press the fire button, so whatever your shoot button is, just press shoot, and you can tag enemies. So I'll show you what that looks like once I get an enemy. Alright, so with Sova's L drone, when you deploy it and you see an enemy, just tag enemy them mark. with this thing here, and it reveals their location. So, Deploying drone. if they're diffusing for example, you can tag them and then wall bang them or wherever you want to shoot because that box there is also wall bangable and this part here is also wall bangable. So completely up to you and um, yeah. Alright, so with the L drone you can hear it coming towards you so this is what it looks like and this is what happens when you get revealed. So you can't do anything with it, you can't take it out like Cypher's um, camera bolt but um, you just got to let three pulses go and then it will reveal you. Alright, so if you can hear Sova's outro coming, you can destroy it. Currently with two or three shots of whatever gun you have, so if you can destroy it quick enough, it won't tag you, but also depends on their Sova's reaction time. So say you can't destroy Sova's L drone in time, he can wall bang you just like that. So you got to be careful where you get tagged and if it's a wall bangable spot. So try and hide behind a solid object, like completely solid, something that won't be able to wall bang. Unlike these boxes here, uh, right here. So see how they're wall bangable? You can easily shoot the person behind this. So his second ability is his shock darts or shock bolt, whatever you want to call it. Um, so his shock darts, you have two charges per round and they cost 150 credits. They're basically what they sound like. They are shock darts. So, acts as a normal bow. Once you release it, it does damage. It explodes and does damage onto an enemy or even teammates. So, with similar to um, Sova's recon, which is his signature ability, I'll go through that after this one. Um, you can bounce it, so if you uh, right click twice or once, it'll um, determine how many bounces it does, and the bar, this bar here, um, determines how much power you um, put into your shock dart. So, I'll just charge it to one bar, so shock dart. see how it dips, I'll do two, two bars, still dips a bit, and I'll do three bars. So it's got a dip, but it's less um, noticeable. So one bar, low dip. Two bars, not that much dip, but still a lot of dip. Three bars, barely any dip. So if you want to do a bounce, one bounce, and it hits that. Two bounces, boom, boom, and then it explodes. So 
It's really good for clearing corners if you want to um, shock dart this, so I'll just do this. Shock dart, and it'll hit that. If you want it to go deeper, you do two bounces, so like this. Shock dart. And that hits all the way back there, which is really good. Alright, now I'm going to simulate a plant, uh, I mean a diffuse, so I'll put the spike there. Just crouch on the spike like you're diffusing. Alright, so they're pretending to diffuse the spike right now, and then I'll just do my shock darts to show you that I can kill them without exposing myself. They're diffusing, so I'm gonna double shock dart it because two shock darts will kill them. So that's one, shock and dart. that's two right there. So there we go, I stopped the diffuse. So two shock darts is an instant kill. Um, but it depends how far you hit them. So the shock dart on a direct hit does 90 damage and a shock dart when it's off-center does around 50. So that's off-center. She was low from that. So a direct hit is 90. Still alive. An off-hit is about 50. So as you can see, I'll do two off-hits. That should kill her since she has no shields. That's one hit. That's two. So yeah, about 100 damage for an off hit and 90 damage for an on hit. So two direct hits will be an instant kill, two off hits will be maybe an instant kill, depends on how low they are and if they have shields or not. So you always want to try and make your shock darts pinpoint accurate. Just like that. And shock dart. just like that. Alright, Sova's signature ability is his Recon Bolt, so similar to his Shock Dart, same things, you got the two bounces, you got the charge, but instead of um, dealing damage, it reveals player's location, so Scanning ahead. I hit that, hit again. Now, in each pulse, with these blue lines, or in enemy's case, it could be yellow lines or whatever the color is, uh, it reveals their location, so if they have a line of sight with right the um, Recon Bolt, then their location will, will be revealed. Right here. But if they Standing can't see ahead. the Recon Bolt, so say like this, the sensor still like hits me, but I don't get revealed because I'm not in uh, line of sight with the Recon Bolt, so it only reveals if you're in line of sight. So I can see them through walls pretty much. Scanning ahead. Found them. Just like that. And at the start of the round, when attackers push through there, I can wall bang them. So, at the start of the round, you can throw a shock dart down, a uh, recon bolt down there, there and are. then wall bang, because this is it a wall bangable spot, but only with a sheriff. So, that's the good thing about having a recon at main. So, this is what the enemy's recon looks like. See, in my line of sight, I get revealed once I look away from it, it uh, doesn't reveal me. So with your the recon, you can destroy it too. It's a one shot destroy, so even with the classic you can destroy it. But um, if you don't have fast enough reflex to you know shoot it, you can hide around a corner, wait for the pulse and then shoot it. So say the recon comes, you don't have time to shoot it, just hide and then you can shoot it and then hide back away from the pulses. Alright, so Sova's ultimate ability is his Hunter's Fury. So after the nerf, they increased, well, Riot increased his ult to 8 ultimate points until he can use it. It used to be 7, I think, but now they increased it to 8. It could change, don't, um, you know, take my word for it, but could change in the future, might not, they might keep it at 8, but was 7, so we'll see if they change it. But if it does change, just bear in mind that, you know, it was 8 or it was 7 and now it's whatever it is. So, his ultimate pretty much looks like this. I am the hunter. My ult is ready. So, I'll explain, you, I'll, I'll explain to you what that does. So, you have three shots um, of your Hunter's Fury. Um, three or two depends on uh, the amount of time you take between shots, so that bar right there depends on how often you do it, so 
it eventually wears out, so if I wait too long between bursts, I can only do it twice. But if I do it quickly, I can do it three times and only three times. So it deals damage through walls, so I can basically hit anything through walls. So in the minimap right here, it shows you the range, so I could reach all the way basically to A default. So from B market, I can reach all the way to a default, a generated default. Alright, so it deals damage and if you hit enemies with your Hunter's Fury, it also reveals their location. So if you hit them, you deal 80 damage and also reveal their location by whoever got hit by it. So you have a total of three shots, so it's a kill if you hit the same person twice and um, you have another backup one just in case you miss or something, you know, you have three shots of this, so... It's really good, really powerful ult. Um, in a way, I can see why they nerfed it, uh, why they nerfed it to eight ult points instead of seven, but, you know, then again, it's not always 100% effective. You can get absolutely no one, like you can tag no one at all. But, um, yeah, it's really good combo to use with his Recon Bolt and Owl Drone um, tag, so um, the Recon Bolt reveals their location, once their location is revealed, you can ult because you know where they are, and then yeah, just follow them around, if they're trying to run from it, just follow them around, and hopefully you can get some people with that, and um, yeah, it's really good to use with his Owl Drone and Recon Dart. So if at any point you don't want to continue using server's ult, you can just press your X to cancel. So X is the ultimate key, so whatever your ultimate key, your key binds might be different. Whatever your um, key bindings are, just press the same one to activate it to cancel it. So in my case, mine's X to activate it, it'll be X to cancel it. So if I want to shoot and I just want to cancel, if someone's trying to push me, I can cancel it and pull out my gun. So, you can cancel it if you don't want to um, keep using it, so... I suggest going somewhere safe to use it, so like maybe around here, and then using your ult. You can go far away, because... You can go far away, because it does have a long range, so you don't have to necessarily be right up close to it, uh, wherever you're ulting, so... It just depends where the enemies are. Enemies might push you when you ult, because... They think you're defenseless, and if you don't know they're pushing you, you pretty much are defenseless. So, it's a pretty loud ult, and it might be difficult to hear footsteps, but, um... Yeah, just be wary that people might push you when you're ulting. So you always have that cancel, just in case. Alright, so now I'm gonna do an ult kill. So, they say they're defusing right now. So I know where Spike is. Spike right is right here, so I just ult. And then, they revealed. And they're dead within the second shot because it does 80 damage per hit. Doesn't matter if it's off center or not, it does 80 damage if you get caught. So, I'll do another one where they're revealed. So, I'll throw in my L drone. So, Deploying drone. if you want to go up with the L drone as well, press space. If you want to go down, press your crouch button or whatever that is. So, Enemy tag. they're revealed. I can see them. And then I'm going to ult. So that's them dead. And you see how their location is revealed briefly while I shoot them. Nowhere to so run. if you see Sova's ult, it gives you a bit of time to run out of it. So you can run out of it before it hits you. So it gives you a little bit of time to run away. So say I'm planting the bomb and then Sova's Aldrin tags me. Nowhere My location is revealed and then he can easily see where I am. One cool thing before I sign off to do with Sova is with his either Recon Dart or Shock Dart is a nice little entry under heaven or um, info under heaven. So what you want to do is just get on top of heaven here and then aim at the right box here. around here. Pull full charge and then... Standing ahead. You get your recon dart under there, so it reveals anyone under here, which is a really cool um, trick if you want to check under heaven as Sova. And if you have a sheriff, 
you can wall bang under here. So see here, you can wall bang this. So if their location is revealed, you can wall bang that. So you can clear it. And mind, bear in mind that it does take a few shots because it's a wall bang, so it won't do exactly however much damage it requires. So just stick yourself like somewhere up here, probably like around here, right this here. corner. Double ch uh, double bounce and then full charge and aim at right the like, intersection of the metal beams and then Revealing area. just all the way under and then it detects everyone under her under there. So really nice recon. You can also do it with shock darts, but it's only right for here. that um, position under there. So <clears throat> shock dart there. Okay, so stick yourself on the corner here and then double bounce and then pull your shock dot charge all shock the way dot. and it goes all the way there not really pinpoint but um, it does do damage to them so they'll probably be low from entering site so you can just double shock dot maybe walk a bit forward to get the distance shock dot. no yeah it gets closer so just however far you want to do it maybe right up against the wall and then my lag stops right up against here and then right in the corner here Shock done. and that's pretty direct in there so you're basically pinpoint accurate with your shock dart here so you can just get it every single time deep in there everyone likes it Scanning deep ahead. don't they so that's perfect right there gets this side, this side, and you can basically clear under here as a sober, no problem. So that's a really cool shock dart and recon to do. So this is the sober guide. I hope you guys found that useful. Um, not sure what agent I'll be doing next. I'll probably wait for the new map to come out and then uh, do that agent with the map. So I've seen some threads about the map, how it's really unique, um, different to the standard maps, how it has um, defenders on right here. either side of the map and then right here. Um, A and B site or even in Haven's case C site on the opposite side. So it's the new map's pretty different, it has, um, I'll show you guys in the next video, it's basically got uh, defender spawn right, right in the middle, attackers can spawn right on either side and you have right A and B site on those sides. So it's a really interesting map. So I'll go through that in more detail uh, when the map releases and I'll probably do an agent. I'm not sure who, but I'll definitely do an agent on that um, map. And um, yeah, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, like and subscribe as usual and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.